Welcome to the show where we look back at a mixed bag of results for the New Zealand franchises and Super Rugby action over the weekend. The Highlanders among the losers who should have won, missing a chance late in the piece when the force were reduced to 13. Elsewhere, the Blues guilty of a slow start, offset by a fast finish but from too far behind. The Chiefs and Crusaders both grinding out important wins at the start of the round. The Hurricanes entertaining their fans thanks to a Bowden Barrett masterclass and some slipshod defence. The highly fancy Tars to win the Aussie Conference were brought crashing down to earth by the Brumbies and the Reds rallied late but again had too much to do against the front running Sharks. To be fair we gifted really four tries so they didn't have to work hard for their tries at all off the back of our errors whether they were missed one off tackles or um, or other errors so you know then we had to work harder for ours um, and couldn't quite achieve that um, but really it was probably the culmination of too many errors in general second half we came out probably that first 10 minute period we just played the game in our half because we just keep giving ball back and uh, you know they're a pretty useful side as they show they just pounced on our errors really you know they put us under pressure um, they, they obviously had a plan to come up and smack uh, forward carriers at times with some really good line speed um, we started to get to grips with that but when we got it wrong they capitalized really well and um, they're those sort of errors I was talking about in the early stages you did look dominant though for long periods yeah, when we held on to ball, yeah, which is you know which is the game really, um, just didn't hold on to it uh, for long enough. And then in the second half, I think even once we got into it at times again, we we're just a wee error here and there, maybe trying to pull, force a pass or if we got uh, isolated, they've always been really good um, at chop tackling, getting guys on the ground, and then the next man arriving very quickly to get his hands on the ball. So if we gave them those opportunities, they took them as they do. And um, then you know if you're not holding on ball, you're turning it over, you just can't maintain that momentum you want. You kept coming back at them though, some nicely executed tries of your own, kept you in the match for most of it. Yeah, yeah, there's some good stuff, no doubt about that. Um, so, you know, obviously we'll, we'll, we'll pack that away um, and enjoy those sides of the game. Um, but uh, it's not enough, you know, defence is just crucial, as we see, week in and week out. And when you give up four tries uh, to any side, it's going to be pretty tough. There'll be a lot of talk about their last ten minutes. Uh, they lose a couple of players. Did you do the right thing? Were you frustrated by some of the decision making? Um, yeah, we possibly could have speeded it up a wee bit more, we thought, um, but that's easy from the sideline. You know, the guys are making decisions on there. Um, and again, we, you know, we went to set pieces and had our opportunities from that. Uh, if we could have cleared from the midfield scrum just under their posts, um, yeah, there was a royal opportunity there, but they managed to disrupt. Uh, then the line out drive couldn't quite get the ball down, or if we did, uh, it wasn't visible. So, fine line, but uh, wrong side of it. A draw, do you think, would have been a fair result, uh, given what both teams put into this? Oh, you can say that, Tom. Um, but really, we just didn't play well enough. Uh, you know, I, I'd say we were a, a little bit off in intensity compared to the previous two matches, would be my feeling. And that showed in our defensive effort. Um, and they were up there. You know, they, they had a, an amazing first 20 minutes or so, 30 minutes last week. Showed how good they can be. So if we were under any... Um, any views about their ability, uh, we, that would have been wrong, you know, so I think everyone was well aware that they're a very good side and uh, what they do, they do really, really well. Um, and they, they took that to us tonight with their defence, with their turnover, um, and then capitalise on errors. Do you think the lack of zip, perhaps something down to the bye, just having a break, switch, switching off mentally? It's hard to know, you know, I felt like a good training week. Um, I know there's a bit of a history of teams battling after a bye, but... We never thought about that, we never spoke about that. I, I certainly didn't enter my mind, I don't think it enters the players' minds as well, um, because we felt like we'd trained well. So, um, yeah, there's no excuses here. Getting points every week, that's something, isn't it, on, on, on the ladder, so that's helping. Yeah, that counts, you've got to get them, yeah. So if you don't do the job, you at least grab something, so that is crucial for us. Um, you've got to keep those ticking along, otherwise if you drop a couple you start to fall off the pace and you know, it gets difficult. Would have been nice to have a win for, for Buxton this week. Um, the news going through, of course, um, career over, which is very sad. Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah, it would have been, yeah, love to have had a win for him, because um, he means plenty to this franchise, to this group of players. Um, and obviously to Dunedin and Otago people as well. So um, he'll be sorely missed on the track, but he'll still be a part of our squad um, one way or another. And um, you know, he's a character that all the boys love, so looking forward to seeing him again. The upside of uh, a Friday game is you've got um, a very uh, quick time to turn this around. Yeah, is that an up or a down? Not sure. <laughs> quick turnaround. Trying to be positive. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but that's just, we, we knew that uh, you know, from the start, whether we lost or, or won this game. So um, yeah, you turn around quickly. It's it's. There's only so much you can do on the track in a, in a short week, um, but as we've spoken about already, it's probably more upstairs than it is uh, doing stuff on the track.
we got a win last week and we wanted to uh, you know, prove to ourselves and prove to our fans that we've got what it takes and you know, back it up and get in another win this week. And uh, it's my first time down in the stadium, so it's uh, quite a good atmosphere and they're very vocal and made us, uh, yeah, it's unbelievable. Look how good that stadium was tonight and the, the crowd was uh, they're very vocal and uh, I can, it's, it's going to be a tough uh, stadium for teams to come to and, uh, and play here. We just uh, kept on talking to each other, and uh, you know the belief was there. And you know we said, you know, if they were going to score, we we're going to try and push them out wide. So then they had to kick the conversion to, to to draw it. One thing you're doing better this year than before is perhaps just finishing opportunities when they're given to you. Yeah, that's um, that's been a major focus. Is when we get into the we call it the gold zone uh, into the opposition 22 that uh, we want to convert uh, either points or uh, or you know uh, both phases in that uh, in that zone. So. Um, you know, that's been one of our focuses and, you know, over the last couple of weeks it's, uh, it's been good for us. And the timing of your tries was good, wasn't it? Because psychologically you kept on top of them all the time. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, we, we uh, talked about getting a good start. Uh, we had a good start last week and we wanted to get a good start this week. And, um, you know, we were, I think we were leading going into half time. So, um, yeah, it's just very pleasing. How nervous were you um, in the last 10 minutes? Uh, you know, thin line of defence. Oh, mate, she was, uh, she was pretty tough, but um, oh, just the character that the boys showed was, was awesome. You know, we like to go in, go in as uh, underdogs and, um, you know, try and surprise a few teams. But, um, you know, like I said, I think, you know, after tonight's win, we'll ha definitely have a bit more belief and hopefully uh, pushing forward, we can uh, notch up a few more wins. To get a win away from home is uh, fantastic. And I think uh, the last five or six times we've played the Highlanders, I think uh, the force won every one. So, match is good. <laughs> You've drifted around the franchises a little bit in this competition and around the backline positions. Um, are you you're happy where you are right today? Yeah, oh, mate, yeah, she's, uh, I've been uh, playing fullback for about the last uh, year now, so uh, I'm sort of know my way around a bit. It was a bit, um, bit weird at the start, but uh, mate, as long as I'm playing and I'm out there, then you know I'm happy to play anyway. And life in Perth? Uh, yeah, mate, it's awesome. Uh, you know, sunny Perth. You got the beaches. Um, it's chilled out. Of course, it's a frustrating game to watch that the Highlanders could never quite get in control here. Yeah, exactly. They got off to a ripper of a start, you know, with that try early on, and you know we, we clawed our way back at times. And you know, I think that last probably 10 minutes, we, they probably slowed the game down really well. And you know, especially when they were down to 13 men, we probably should have sped it up a wee bit and probably maybe done a couple of quick taps and just had them under the thing. I think we eventually would have scored, but I think they did very well at winding the game down. You know, a couple of collapsed scrums, waste another minute and another minute, and yeah, it must have been very frustrating as a, a supporter watching as well, I'd say, because I know as a player it definitely was. Yeah, a good platform up front. I think you had the drop on them in the scrums. Do you feel that? Yeah, definitely. It was probably uh, one of those nights, bit of nights we've had actually. So um, yeah, the boys up front were pretty happy with that. Um, you know, there's a couple of calls on the lineouts where probably we narrowed out the gap a wee bit and probably got pulled up on it. But yeah, no, like up front we thought we had a reasonably good. We're probably a wee bit slow to the breakdown though, and that's where it cost us as well. Plenty of line breakers in the team though. You're always giving you a chance. Malachi, if he could have for one, is, is making plenty of breaks. Oh mate, he's an outstanding young kid, eh? And he, you know, he's shown, I think, through NPC last year, and you know, he's definitely stepped up in those, these first three games. You know, he's a, is a game breaker, and, and coming into the midfield there, it's, it's great for us forwards. You know, he's always stepping and jinking and, and getting game line for us, and that's that's what we need. So, as a midfielder, so. Yeah, and good confidence to spread it out wide. So when you've done all that hard yak of getting the ball, they're using it quite well. Yeah, they are. You know, I think their game plan this year, just with the way we're playing and and the width across the field, we know we are definitely probably playing a quite a good brand of rugby and opening up teams a wee bit through there, but just not capitalising when we probably should. I think you got more touches of the ball in open play than I've seen for ages. Yeah, I'm trying to move it along. I eh? just you know that's part of the new game plan. We've just anyone can be a ball carrier, so uh, it's always always good to get the hands on the ball. And we can put it right on Friday, can't we? So a quick turnaround. Yeah, definitely. You know, we've got six days, and hopefully uh, we'll take these hurricane boys on, and you know we've got a couple payback from last year and. Yeah, that should be good actually. So the table is headed by the three conference leaders who on flag points alone would justify their spots. The Chiefs and the Waratahs especially pleased with their positions with the game in hand over their rivals. No points for buys this year of course. The Crusaders made the biggest progress from 15th to 9th in a single bound. The Hurricanes up four spots while the Highlanders still only one win away from a playoff spot with that vital point secured. The Cheetahs in dire straits showing nothing of last year's on the road form.